Hello, everybody. Uh, see what you <laughs> see did what there. I did? See what I did? Wow, that was bad. <laughs> that was bad fun laming. <laughs> fun laming. What? Fun laming. <laughs> Lame puns. We're off to a great start. Oh, boy. It's the first video of the day. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> we got to be excited. Ready? Woo. Halo! A series based on the Xbox One video game Halo which is a loved, loved classic. People loved this game and was really looking forward to was, this. Wasn't it on PC like a million years ago? Hey, no, it's an Xbox One exclusive. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay. So. It's one of those games I feel like has been around forever though. It has, it's been a long, forever. long time. Now here's the thing. I've seen the game, I think I played like an hour of the game and that's it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going into this knowing nothing really about the lore or history or anything like that about the game. Yeah, so if if you are a game player and you love Halo, we're just... Don't listen to us. We're just chumps. We're going into this blind. Yeah. We don't know anything about the game franchise. We're looking at this as a TV series, not a video game representation. Yeah, I've never played this before. So, uh, but we have played tons of video games, just not this one. So, uh, Halo, episode one, let's find out. Did we like it or not? Oh my god, it's wet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, the only thing I figured with Halo is that this was a first person shooter. Like, you're yes, looking yes. through your eyes, you see yeah. your gun, and then you're going around shooting people. Like, and I, I remember, I, I know there's some kind of a me mechanic person, like in the metal suits and everything, but I figured that was just a space suit. I also heard uh, over time Master Chief. He's yes. like a video game icon. He's the main guy, the hero of the Halo series okay. story. So, IMDB says, aliens threaten human existence in an epic 26th century showdown. Okay, there you go. So, and there you have it. Yep. I'll, I'll be, I've, I've heard a few people out there complaining that this is not Halo, they're not following the lore. Etc. Why do they have diff like they, there's different alien Factions. levels and all this? I know nothing about that, so I'm not looking at any of that. I just looked at this as okay. I'm watching the opening scene, and I love the opening scene. Well, what do you consider the opening scene? The whole action battle attack. Okay, that's what I can. Not not the so, kids running off into the woods. Act one. Yeah, <laughs> act one. So I really liked that part of the show. It was good action, good special effects, and bloody. This is not a Disney Plus show. Right. They show really, this is a Witcher show, you know. Mm. I, I was... They killed 170 some people, including children. Okay, <laughs> yes. In this one. Yeah, they did, they did like story-wise, they did some pretty gruesome things. How I was getting a few different vibes. I was getting, the first vibe I was getting is early season uh, Star Trek The Next Generation away mission acting abilities from the kids. Like... The kids who all died except for one yeah, at the beginning like, of the movie? Golly, you're, you're hey, let's go about over that. here. <laughs> <laughs> like that kind of acting. Hmm. Uh, uh, right up until that one girl got her head blown off. And then it, and then, then, then her acting got better. Then, the, <laughs> then her acting got better. The vibe changed. Yeah, the director said, yeah. "No, no, no, offer." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then and the other kids as well. And then during the battle in the village, I was getting a strong uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers vibe of in in, in sort of the anim the the CGI or how people were moving. I was just like that sort of a. That's what it looked like to me. All right. Uh, while I don't think the acting right off the bat was epic, I didn't have a problem with it because everything that I saw in the first 10 minutes uh, was more than I saw in the entire season of Boba Fett. Okay, I'll yeah. give you that. Uh, and it starts off, you're, you're, you're in this place with a, like a rundown planetary town and you, you see the characters and you're thinking, Okay, I'm following along, I'm following along. And then you find out these aren't even the characters you're supposed to be following along with because the new faction comes in. And then there's a new faction. And so you're always 
you're always finding out something new and you're saying, oh, wow, this is okay, I didn't expect this. So that's what I enjoyed about this movie. By about halfway through, when the story starts to come together and you realize what direction they're going, then I started to get into it. Then I could follow it and then I was like, okay, I can see myself watching this now. At first I was like, what does Don have us watching? That's, I was cursing you. So you have some real people, something bad happens. And, they, and they're talking about, you know what, uh, I fought Marines before. It's all oh, Marines are nothing. You got to watch out for the uh, elites. The uh, sen what? No, no, it was the um, Spartans. They call them? Spartans. Spartans. Yeah. The Spartans. Yeah. All of this. You can't kill a Spartan. Can't kill it. And all of a sudden, they get attacked by these beings, and you're saying, "Oh, those must be the Spartans because they're destroying everything." Nope, they're not the Spartans. Nope. No. But they're, the they're an unknown show. alien race. See, no, they're very well known to the gamers out there. It's us who had no idea yeah, who they were. Yeah, yeah. Right? And, and then and then this new faction comes in and you say, oh, they're the guys that apparently own most of the galaxy or something like that. And the so authority. The, the Federation, right? Yeah. yeah. And and you say, okay, well, they're, ni they're nice, they're civilized, they're, they're going, they're helping the people that were attacked. And then you find out something not right with these people. Yeah. These people aren't so good. Yeah, they're, well, they're not. They're very political, right? And they're not liked by the people. But they're all backstabbers. It's like what you see on the news right now. You don't trust anybody, right? Yeah. These are those people. Yeah. Yeah. Like Hunter Biden. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, okay, so I want to know what you think of Master Chief and Quan Ha. I don't like Quan Ha. Why? I just don't. I don't know if it's her hair. I don't know if it's her acting ability. I don't know why she has a spotlight. Like I would have offed her on the planet. I don't know why she's well, still there. Well, they wanted to in this in the ship. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> on the planet when they've just wiped out her entire village. Oh, what they? Oh, there's one survivor. No, I would have just. Okay, but why? Well, I'm glad you didn't come to rescue me. <laughs> <laughs> Like but, all right, left. we failed in our mission to save everybody. We only saved one. But well, let's start over, everybody. But were they there to rescue them, or were they there to eliminate the bad guys? They they were there they were to there find to, the artifact. They were there kind of do to do both because they started talking about how they want the tribes to start fighting with them instead of against them. Okay. Right. Um, so. Yeah, but do you not like the character, or do you not like the actress? Hmm. And it's very difficult to say because she is Korean, uh, and you 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 want to give her the benefit of the doubt. Like, am I not liking her because of an accent, or or am I am I being like a an awful person, or does she truly not fit the role? I well, no, it's just that I don't, and maybe it's just because it's early days. I don't see why they would take a take this this teenager with them and give that teenager so much political weight. Like, why does anybody care what she says about anything? About her political views and how the factions and all of all oh. of the villages were... They want yeah. her as an eyewitness to a alien race yes. attacking her people because there's so much mistrust. And yes, there is propaganda. Look, Hunger Games, why the heck would Katniss Everdeen the star of the show? <laughs> so you, that's why they want to use her. I know why they want to use her. And she said, no, I'm going to say this. And then they're like, what do you want? No. No, you don't bow your knee to a teenage girl who says, you know, okay, you say no, fine. We have no use for you. Well, true, but if they could if they could persuade her, she could be of value to them. The reason they went to the planet and helped uh, the uh, the tribe or their what do you the extremists or whatever you want to call them, rebe rebels, is because they wanted to get them on their side. Some people might think I'm heartless. <laughs> Some of our videos might suggest that. <laughs> <laughs> but your I, wife might suggest I that. I would have I would have just written her off. That's all. And I, and they decided, you know what? They, uh, and they, too and much they agreed with me. Okay. What so, about Master Chief? I like him. He's well, he seems pretty badass. Right? Like he can he can handle his own, but he also has he has a like a human side about him. Right? And I think that human side is probably a, a, a new thing that he's exploring because of the artifact. But I liked him. 
I don't know. He I, was I got, he was really relatable. I got an awesome Mandalorian vibe from him. Yeah. Because you don't see his face until the very end, so he's very mysterious, and he has that that uh, very cool voice. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, he's a cool character, and so. Two of the big complaints about this series, well, three. One is they don't follow the lore. We don't know the lore, so it didn't bother us, mm -hmm. right? Another one is they show his face. Like the Mandalorian, they show his face. It, in the way that they showed the face in this one, it made sense why he took the mask off, the helmet off. He was trying to convince the girl that he's no threat. Mm -hmm. Works for me. No problem with, with that at all. And then they also say that he is uh, <laughs> too, he, he doesn't quip. Like, he's not one-liner guy. Like, in the game, he's one-liner guy a lot. Is he? I, I like thought, Duke Nukem? Yeah, I thought, I thought but he, maybe he was as, fine. Maybe as he develops a personality... That'll come along. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so, did you like episode one? Would it, Does this draw you in to maybe see more episodes? I can't wait for episode two. I liked half of episode one. I liked the second half. So, yeah, I'd, I'd watch it. Yeah, this was a success for me. I, I'm really enjoying it. Okay. Here's the problem. Other people out there have seen episode two because they got advanced copies and they say it goes from action and everything in episode one to political backstory in two and it's nothing but talking and I'm going, uh oh, and they say it really drops off. So I'm hoping that not another Jedi council. <laughs> I'm hoping it doesn't doesn't keep our like it keeps our interest the entire time. OK, well, those people might be uh, like video game fans. And so they want the action because that's what a video game is. Yeah. Action. And Halo is an action game, right? Mm -hmm. So now I did. I did, will say one thing. I thought they thought you know when Master Chief was landing the plane and they were taking it over. Um, was that not overkill? Did they not need to bring in five hundred tanks and two hundred thousand soldiers? They, they all know how dangerous he is. <laughs> yeah, but he he is the most important military asset that they'd have. So he is pretty powerful. Yes. But they brought in an army, not just a bunch of guys. But that's an supposed to army. That's supposed to tell you something. <laughs> that's supposed to tell you how dangerous he is. Okay. Uh, okay. And and still, he got away <laughs> because <laughs> of the artifact. Only because of the artifact, he got away. But so. apparently, he's the only one who can Touch, manipulate the artifact. It, yeah. Yeah. Well, at least and that one other chick. He touched it. We don't know if he's the only one yet. Yeah. We'll see. But there you go. All right. Halo episode one, as far as we're concerned, a success. Yeah. Uh, I liked the action in it. I thought the uh, fighting was good. Didn't mind the acting too much. Interested in the next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll see. Let's hope it doesn't drop off. Let us know what you guys, have you watched this? Because it's a video game TV series, right? A lot of people are just, I'm not interested in that kind of stuff. Check it out as a series, not as a video game. Do you even have Paramount Plus? That's right. If not, there's other ways to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. All right, until next time, I guess we'll see you on the channel. Oh my God, it's wet. Oh. <laughs>